Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Hi, I'm Desiree. And we're bringing you this week's Rising Tide West Coast Swing Guide. We are on to a new series, this guide. Uh, we thought we would share with you some of our favorite drills for this series. Now, whether you're stuck at home right now, which you probably are in April 2020, or uh, you just stuck without a partner uh, who does West Coast Swing with you, it can feel a little lonesome in our social dance world. So we want to really inspire you that whether or not things are operating normally when you watch this video, or you're actually solo, drills can be an awesome way to stay motivated and get better no matter what. So we're gonna show you some drills that we've developed ourselves, we find really fun and really useful over the next four weeks. Matt is going to get started with his straight leg drill. Yes, so just a quick plug before we get into the drill, I have been posting daily like sets of different drills every day for the last couple weeks and we'll continue to do so for as long as we're in quarantine. And this straight leg drill is actually in today's drill set, which was right posted now. yesterday at 11 p.m. So no, watch the video today. and then try out the drill. All right, So I'm ready to learn. The background, why do straight legs matter? Well, if you're a competitive dancer, it's fairly obvious a straight leg generally looks better than a bent one. It has more of a finished line to it versus if your legs never fully bend, it seems like you're never finishing the line. Now, if you're only a social dancer, that same thing holds true in the connection. So it kind of feels like if you end a sentence with like a dot, 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 and then you end another sentence and you just kind of keep trailing off and you never really finish with a nice, clear, crisp punctuation mark. Yeah, I don't know about you, but for me, some of the social dancers that have been honing their craft are awesome above and beyond some of the competitive dancers that are just looking for that flashy move. So kudos to the social dancers trying this out uh, so that your technique is stronger and your relationship to the partnership is even better. Now, to find the straight leg position, if you have any sort of like knee injury or knee dislocation, be a little bit careful with this one. Certainly. Yeah. Maybe you don't even do it, but... <laughs> So to find what we call the relaxed straight leg position, first I'm gonna bend my legs, then I'm gonna lock my knees out just quickly, then I'm gonna slowly relax my quad muscles, which are the muscles on the front of your thighs. What this does is your leg is still straight, but there's no tension created by the quadriceps engaging, which is locking the knee out. This yep. is a nice, comfortable, safe position for the knee. So I wanna slow this down a little bit. For body awareness sake, you wanna make sure you know your knees are bent here, and then you quickly lock the knees, and then you very slowly relax the quad. So it's three steps, obvious bent knees, into a locked position where you can tell your knees are locked because you cannot move them at all. You're kind of just moving, wibbling, wobbling all around, and then a relaxed quad where you can actually start to shake out your legs. That's the cue from a body awareness perspective that you've got a straight leg without a locked knee. Now, the goal of the drill is to really isolate this one mechanic, having the legs finish in this relaxed straight line. And so it may look silly once we start dancing it, but my goal is really just put on a song and every step I take, I'm just thinking about trying to arrive at that straight line position. I'm not really articulating my feet very much here. I'm not really rolling through my feet very much here. And that's okay because that's not what I'm focused on. That might be a different drill that I do. But what this allows us to do is we start to have that straight leg position in our social dancing without ever really consciously trying to implement it because we've practiced this so much by ourselves that our bodies remember the muscle memory position of a finished leg line. So how would you practice this mat if you wanted to integrate this drill into say a daily drill sequence or something you do a couple times a week? So I love to practice with music that keeps me focused and it gives me a nice timer for each drill. So I would just put on a song and dance whatever you would dance, but make sure that every time you're taking a step, that leg is coming to a nice straight position. Again, it feels silly. I find it kind of fun now, honestly. It feels like you're just like kind of wallowing around a little bit. Yeah, well, awesome. I'm gonna try that out tomorrow. Yep, that was your guide. Thank you everyone for tuning in. You can check us out online at mattdavisswing.com. We're also on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and Twitter as Rising Tide Swing Dance Studio. Bye.